Hey guys, okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a revamp on a Weber grill that we've had for about at least uh, 11 um, years. And what are we replacing? The burners and what are these things called? Let me see. Uh, the flavorizer bars. The flavorizer bars. They're pretty simple. Okay, <laughs> now what what would this what does this revamp cost? Uh, these probably cost a hundred bucks for both of these together. Because I think this is like forty-four. This might have been fifty-nine, but we could have possibly got it cheaper. Maybe we got it at uh, uh, Delaware Valley. Agway. Agway. Yes. A bunch of stuff off of that right there. I already replaced these um, for the upgraded uh, iron one, so I will clean them up. And... So we're replacing those rusty things. Yes, these things right here. They, uh, I, I have poked the holes out to make it work a few times, and and that this is it. I'm putting these guys in right here. They, uh, you know, the specific way they go there. This set, this is the Spirit 300, which has three burners, and any of them this size that have the three burners on the side will work because this is actually one for the Spirit 700 or Genesis, and so. You know, he said this should work, and it seemed to be the same size. And famous last there, words, said right should work. Yeah. Uh, no, famous last words, said yeah. they should work. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, well, let's see what the other things are. Put them over here. These right those here. are the flavorizer. Oh, those are the flavorizer bars. What was yeah. the other thing? These are the burners Burner. right here. These are the burners, burners. right here. Okay. The burners that comes with uh, these guys here, this, and um, that right there. Right. Yeah. And what's the other thing? Uh, these are the flavorizer bars. They go across, okay. and you know, to make the basically the, to all right. distribute the heat is what I believe they're for. Okay. All right. I'll, okay. Let me get the uh, other angle. Of it. Put this on a tripod so I don't have to hold it. Okay. Here is the instructions for. Let's see if we can see the first page. I don't know where the first page is here. It's got to be there because that's number two. Right? Oh, one. Okay. right there. Yeah. Yeah, so here we go. So anyway, I'm going to replace these and the um, flavorizer bars, as they call them. I looked at the instructions here, and basically there's, there's many, many instructions. I think you have to do this. Don't lift your fingers. I tell everybody how I hate it when you're doing okay. that. So there's many instructions here, and it, so, but I kind of narrowed it down. It goes all the way to here, so I narrowed it down a little bit here, pretty much, because there's actually two versions of this. So, so basically, take this off. Don't you know what, honey? Don't you have to do the gas thingies first? Uh, pop these off. No, these gas things. Before no, this the is how, this is how to get to them. No, well, I'm not, the, the no, flavorizers I, go on last. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. The flavorizer bars, they just like sit on there. Oh, see, I think you called that gas thing a flavorizer bar. Because uh, you did. You said you said that was the instructions. So that's what you told me to do. It's the burner tube kit is what, um, the burner tubes. And now we lost the screw, right? It's gone? No. Okay. I was being oh. careful that I didn't lose the... Yeah. Eh, was it careful now? I'm going to be very careful for this one. Craftsman should have a magnet on. It's take too much time here just to get two screws out. Okay, here are the two screws. Take these off. Get them out of the way. Now. This thing. I already set this, got this piece underneath it. Get that out of the way. Let me see where these things. Check the other screws real quick. Okay. I think 
think I'll need those because they're right there. How do you have that? And they're fine. So let me see how these things come off here. Of course the gas is unhooked. Absolutely. That was my bench at. How are you going to loosen them? Make sure they Oh, that's good. Okay. This is a eight millimeter wrench. This is like a guide right here. Oh yeah, they, so they want me to take this whole thing loose so I can get, uh, okay, let me see. I see what they're doing. You can't just pull that tube right I off? I can't, there? hang on. Nope, that one I can't get, but. I have to pull it out the other way, but let me get a wrench here. It looks like a half inch. to half. It's a left. Sorry, folks. ASMR with that noise in the background, right? Huh? They call it ASMR when you have noise like that in the background. Some people actually like to hear that stuff. Well. And they like to hear if you whisper your craziness. They you whisper like true like. What can I talk about? They, mm. they have videos like that. You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm getting hundreds of thousands of views on videos like that. That is was stainless steel right there. So that one. Yes. Uh huh. Right and this thing. Let's see. That's good. Let me find you to loosen that. Let me see. This is. Might be able to do it with a big 
that head. And, oh, these don't come out, it says. They're just guides. So, oh. I think to loosen up. But I think I'm gonna do it with a wrench because they look rusty as head. I'm sure they're not gonna turn. Sorry, I heard a tree fall. If you're not in the forest, do you really hear a tree fall? Hmm. How would you ever know the answer to that unless you put a trail camera up, right? Then you know the answer. What? Yeah, we have some That's more. That's more. We have some more. What did Luke just say, honey? He said, Daddy. Size. There we go. Oops. Get my hand. There's a smidge long. What? Looks good to me. Okay. This will keep some on. So this one, with the holes in it, are, has to go here. Wait a minute. Or I guess you could do it either way, but let me make sure they're both the same. So if I put that one there, this one came up from. Close enough. Let me look for a minute. Close enough for government work. Where does that come from? Ah, uh, yeah, funny thing that people say. So this one would be, uh, possibly be there. Okay. And let's make sure that, uh... That's the one I got from the back, yeah, correct? People. So the back. Oh, yeah, I think. That's I don't one. like the indicative. See, let's see what was wrong with right there? That's how bad that thing was. Very bad. Yucky. Yeah. So, if that's, yeah, and that was down, turned down, so that would be like that. Yeah, and then the gas would come out this way. No. This should be here because the gas comes out that way and up. That means this one. Probably should have taken a picture before you took them off. These are like both the same. Aren't they exactly, they're exactly the same. So, okay, so it doesn't matter. This would be the middle one. You can't see. You see that that's the middle because it has little dots going all the way across there. And this will go through here. Oops. Okay. Oops. I'm in the way again. I'm sorry, folks. I'm going to way. This thing says 
has to go like this. It has to. And this one over here. And So this one would just set in here. And I gotta take a look at this middle one. Uh, I gotta check this out. The middle one goes right there. Uh, what if I screw that in there right there? Oh no, I got it. This goes up to this. That means I have it in wrong. You have it in wrong? That's okay, I just go like this. And it'll be right. Because see this right here? This, this goes across these guys right here. You need to have, there are the holes where it's gonna have gas coming out of there. And on this part right here is where this comes in. How could it be like that? I don't know. Yeah, there it is. So just, this slides in there. That's it. So it's just gonna slide in there. So it has to it has to go in this way. You couldn't go in possibly go in the other way. So it's it's pretty fail-safe, you know. Pretty mess up error free yeah, because you'll put it all together. Yeah, you put it all together and then it, it'll uh, it won't work unless you have it incorrectly. That's just weird. Let me make sure this has. Remove burners, I did that. Install new ones. Doesn't say. You have to put the third one in. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, the third one is? Yep. Oh, I can't get I, I don't mess around. I cannot see it. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go in there and then unscrew these a little bit. You, you need to unscrew these because the screw goes to it and holds it in here. Use the wrench. Have more room. Danger. Is that? Don't keynotes? take it off too much, honey, and drop it underneath the deck. What? Don't. Don't take it off. Don't unscrew the screw so much so that we don't. Uh, Losing on the deck, right, huh? Underneath right. the deck? Yeah. Oh, there's another one. So they're not, not whack. Right. I'm just checking something here. This has to come off. What's that hanging thing? That's the, uh, the, um, I, I put this up here. This is the thing that starts there. It starts it, you know what I mean? Oh, no, no, I mean this? Those, no, I mean those little things that are hanging right there. These, yeah, they are going here. Oh. So, mm -hmm. there. Okay. And put that in there. Mm. Right there. That's 
Oh there. Now I gotta tighten these things up here. Make sure that's all good over there. Yeah. Done here. I'm sure you'll speed it up a little bit for them, right, honey? If, they, if they need be. To make it look faster. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wonder if the hose reaches up. No. Dang it. Oh, the gas hose? Yeah. One of these batteries, let me stick a battery in this thing here. Kind of battery. It's going to be a AAA, I'm sure. Let me see here. Some of them do not, some of them have a crystal in it. Careful. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them have a crystal in it and it'll, uh, let me see. Yeah, this one probably has a crystal in it and it, you just hit the crystal and it, let me make sure. Sure, is what it is. Yeah, because I don't see some of them have a actually have a little crystal, and you it, it hits it and it causes a little electric current. Well, okay, so there's that, there's that, put that there. Let me actually put this thing. I don't like it there. Because the, uh, the wires are in the way of this here. I have another idea here. Go down through here. Maybe I can go under like that. Just so the wires don't hang down, that's all. There. And. Okay, here. And yeah, turn it a little bit. That's it. So let's, uh. Didn't say anything about adjusting him. I don't think. 
maybe I should have read the instructions. Like adjusting the, the air um, flow situation there. So there's that. Uh, See. I mean, it doesn't even sound like they're, I mean, no, I don't Take mean like they don't even tell me they're doing anything. Those knobs. This one. You're right. Yeah. I'm not supposed to be putting them on tighter though. Maybe it's how they're supposed to be. Let me see it. Hmm. I have the things in pretty tight, but they don't, they don't want me to crank them, do they? Mm -hmm. Let me see. No, I'm not, I think that it's just a ridge that they're supposed to fit in. Mm. Yeah, because I have them tight. Pretty sure it's just a ridge. Yeah. I'll, uh, take a good peek. I'm sure it's... These are the burner tube kits. That's where you put in these kits in the flavor bars because you the burner tube kit from my And... That is, I don't know if you can see, it says, um, fits apto para por, oh, that's an inner line, which on. fits the Spirit 700 in the Genesis silver B slash C gold. 2002 and, what does that say? Hold on. And newer models. And the price at the Agway, which I'm sure is like through the nose, um, is $56.99. Yeah. You probably could pick these up on Amazon for like 30 bucks. I don't know. Probably. You should look it up. And find I should out. look it up. You should. I'll check it out and put a link in the video description because it's probably, you can get them a lot cheaper. But. Okay, well, I think. I actually want to try it out. Let's see. Where did you get those? Did you get those on Amazon? No, I got these on uh, at uh, Home Depot. Home Depot had these. That's your Amazon. Did you check Amazon? No. Would you pick those up right in the store? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so these things should go. Since the other ones haven't been in there because I had to make these fit. Make the other one yeah, the other I got the wrong one this time. Okay, it said that there's two versions. There's one version with the with the three burners here, and that's the first ones I got, and they didn't fit. You gotta get the groove back. Yeah, so I had to bend them. I mean, I had to bend them to make it work. Mm. Yeah, these fit perfect. I think this one that side. Oh yeah, they don't go in the groove, I'm sure. They, they go the just outside the groove. Yeah. But I believe, well, I'm going to want to take a look at this. Why would they be outside just the groove? We'll put it back together real quick. Yeah. So you guys see how it's going to work. And then we got to worry about how it's going to work. Oh, 
It should work like new, hopefully. That's why we're doing this. But where's up with these holes in it? I know what they are. What? I think. That's where those, that, did you forgot to put that pipe thing back? No, I put that one pipe in, yeah. I think. Why? No, they can't possibly be there for that. Why? Um, I was thinking, I thought, because it doesn't go all the way through. So, it um, can't possibly be for that. There's no instructions that came with this? I don't think so. Let me show the Maybe I'll just aim the holes in the back. back. I don't understand why they're flavorizer, they're not flavored. <laughs> no, why would they be flavorizers? I don't know. Let me see, let me move this and okay. see if it works. Let me show the box for the hippie. Okay. No, these again. Yeah, see? The, Here's the ones I had the last time. It said, uh, the, with the burners in the front, no good. And it has to have burners on the side for this. Oh, okay. So, you got it? Flavorizer bars. Yeah. And, um, this must be flavoring I'll somewhere. To these Is this flavoring somewhere? I'll probably find a more for you on the side if you want to order them. Okay. All right. Hey, I see a kid swinging back. Right. Okay, so here's our almost 12 year old grill. It's still very, very sturdy. So. All right, you're going to move it over there? Yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to stop the camera and move to the other location because we've got to hook it up to the gas line. Hold on. Okay. It wasn't hold on. Up. All right, hold on. Oh. Sorry, guys, we just lit that up and realized we didn't have the camera on, but uh, everything is working. You want to turn the gas on? Yes, yeah, so I moved a couple of flavor. To show you the, the uh, gas, but you really can't see it because it, they're it's very light flames. Right now, uh, it's too light outside. You can see a little bit. Yep, there you go. You see them. You can see that they're on um, if you just uh, see. Well, don't do anything with fire. I'm just uh, showing you. So, yeah, it's going to be, we'll, we'll try it out. I'm going to take care of the grates. we got to put the other flavor enhancers. We've got to clean the grates. We'll and try it out. So, but, but definitely uh, a lot better, works a lot better than it did prior to doing this. And otherwise you're gonna spend four or 500 bucks for another, or more for another grill. grill. Take your choice, but this thing's still sturdy. This is great. Yeah. So. So. All right guys, thanks for watching. Let, thanks. let us know if you try it. All right, have a good one, good luck. Happy grilling.